Hello loves. So I wanted to get on here and talk about my experience working with John Binney. Um, I had a hidden witch wound done with Mr. Binney and it, it was <laughs> really incredible because, <clears throat> um, excuse any background noise and I'm still getting a little bit <laughs> comfortable on camera. So bear with me. <laughs> Um, so I was in a chat room completely unrelated to the whole hidden witch wound, um, procedure. Okay. This was before I had the hidden witch wound. I was in a chat room, um, for a live that somebody had done. I don't, I don't remember whose live it was, but John Binney was in that, the live on YouTube, the chat room. And I remember talking to everyone in that chat room and, and asking if anyone um, knew anything about a kundalini awakening because I had wanted to have a full energetic kundalini awakening, right? And I had never had one. So fast forward a little bit and I was approached by Mr. Binney and he had said to me, hey, you know, I, I have these new services if you're interested. And he kind of just rattled some off. So <clears throat> I chose Hidden Witch Wound and it was a, an incredible experience. Um, at the time, I couldn't be there with him energetically. So, um, well, you know, physically, energetically, of course, but I couldn't be there physically with him. So he recorded the witch wound for me and sent it to me, right? Um... And when I watched it, uh, I, I didn't really know what to expect, <laughs> right? Um, he dived really deep into things in my past lives, um, which were a little, honestly a little bit embarrassing. But he approached them with such compassion and kindness. And, you know, he made me feel very comfortable about it. Um, and after I watched the hidden witch wound video um well first let me talk a, a little bit about the the shadows that came up um for me watching the video and afterwards um I felt very tired <laughs> because I think I was integrating a lot of the deep emotions and shadow work which popped up for me um I did drink a lot of water the next day and so this, this was the thing which I wanted to discuss. This is the whole point of this video. Well, there's, there's more points in the video, but what happened the next day was absolutely incredible. So I, that night after watching, um, the hidden witch wound, I went to sleep and before I went to sleep, I did my normal nightly meditation and as i was doing my nightly meditation i went on to have a full kundalini awakening <laughs> like um it was <laughs> so it's a little bit hard to describe um because the the energy was so incredible um and I know like the Kundalini awakenings are very personal and different for everyone. But for me, I'll try to describe how it was for me. So basically, as, as I was meditating, um, I started to sort of sway back and forth like this. Um, and I could feel energetically that something was happening at the base of my spine um, as my body was sort of swaying back and forth like this. I could feel a buildup of the energy starting to try to travel up my spine. And so um, I, 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 my eyes were already closed and I sort of just envisioned like a snake, a black snake coming from the base of my spine and sort of, you know, doing the little serpentine dance up my spine, right? And as I was doing that, the visualization, I think, was one of the main things which sort of helped propel the energy upward. 
So it, it just sort of went very quickly after that. It was the spiraling up and then the boom to the top of my crown chakra where there was this feeling of euphoria almost that was like, it was euphoria, but it was also this feeling of, of being grounded at the same time. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but that's what it, that's what it felt like. And, um, I could, you know, clearly see the energy, um, which to me, I, it was comparable to like the light of a thousand suns, um, shining in this area. Right. And it was a really incredible, powerful experience. And it happened immediately after watching the hidden witch wound that I received from John Benny. So I, I, I don't think it's a coincidence. Um, I don't think it's coincidence at all. I don't think that that moment would have been possible without um, watching the hidden witch wound and releasing all of those pent up energies that had been stored in my system. You know, during the hidden witch wound, John specifically concentrated um, on releasing a blockage that my my one of my past lives had said was there for literal literally like lifetimes and so i think when that was released that was what went on to help me have the whole full kundalini awakening right so that was an incredibly powerful experience um and also i remember talking to another female that um i knew of um that is a member of John's um, a space, uh, what is it, space Wix um, membership. And I remember her saying something about having a full Kundalini awakening on camera um, after working with John Benny. So I definitely don't think it's a coincidence that um, I had the full Kundalini awakening. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what it is, but there is something definitely um, magic happening here when you work with John Binney and in regards to like having the Kundalini awakenings um, so I'm also doing a three to six months mentorship with John Binney um, I chose just the three month mentorship and the experience has changed my life <laughs> um, <clears throat> I even now like I'm getting a little bit choked up because of the whole <sighs> the experience has been really life-changing and profound for me so I've already been someone that would meditate off and on and for a while literally for like a whole year I meditated day and night without really seeing much changes in my life right um, and when I started the mentorship with John Binney, um, as part of my homework, he gave me <laughs> a meditation, like just um, a page of meditations that he had created. And he said, I want you to do one of these meditations, um, try to do one every night. And, you know, I looked at it as kind of a tongue-in-cheek type thing. I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, I, at first, I, it, for me, it was like, oh, he's just trying to push his content. Maybe he's trying to get me to buy some more stuff from him, whatever. So that's what I originally took it as. And, and you know, I was just like, eh. Um, and so something really magical happened. As I started doing the meditations, um, I realized that these were not just normal meditations, like they were extremely powerful and they resonated deeply in my soul. And I enjoyed them so much, so much that I just started doing them like crazy. Like it was, it was funny, like someone who, and I, and I had sort of like not really meditated for a while. Like I said, I went through this phase where I was meditating for like a whole year and then I kind of took a break. And I had done other guided meditations, but they didn't really resonate with me. And when I did the first meditation, the guided meditation from John Binney, I, I don't even remember which one it was. Um, I think it was a spirit guide meditation, but it resonated so deeply in my soul. And from that moment, I, I was just hooked. <laughs> like I started doing like sometimes two meditations a day. Um, 
and I definitely I I would I would do one every single night right and I <laughs> it was funny at one point <laughs> um <clears throat> there's a little survey at the end where you get to um, give feedback to John Benny and I didn't realize that it, it would go straight to his inbox <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised when I um, you know gave him a little short feedback of like what my experience was with the meditation and he immediately messaged me back on and through email I was like oh it was really incredible and I was like wow this is funny um, because I never had that experience but um, it was so funny because I remember he wrote me back and he was like, you're literally eating these meditations up like cookies. <laughs> and I laughed so hard because I really was. And it was unintentional. It was just like, all of a sudden, I, I, I found this magic within my life that wasn't there before. And it just opened other other experiences for me like I connected with my spirit guides and before I was never able to talk with my spirit guides and all of a sudden like they were I, I was clearly connecting with them and it, it just opened a whole bunch of other doors for me um it led to me like being able to be on camera like more and to be comfortable um it led to me having more self-confidence uh, there, there was just so many positive changes that came about that, I mean, and they were extremely drastic. Um, when I started the mentorship with, with John Binney, sorry, I'm really talking fast now, but I just, I, I'm so excited about all of this and it just, it has, I have to get it out. So when I started the mentorship with John, um, I was, I was, my schedule was completely screwed up. Um, I literally was sleeping all day and I was up all night because I had worked a third shift job and I had never gotten off the schedule and off that schedule and I was completely miserable um you know I, I wasn't seeing the sunshine like it was it was just really really tough for me I was really sort of depressed and you know nobody really knew because I hit it very very well right and you know, it started out with when I started these meditations, then all of a sudden, like I found myself wanting to get up during the day. And, you know, I ended up switching back to a normal schedule where I was sleeping at night and waking up in the morning. And like, I think the earliest I got up during um, this whole uh, mentorship with John Benny was I started waking up at 4am, which is crazy because I literally was someone who would literally like seriously, I would sleep. I would sleep all day and I was up all night. So that was the first drastic change. Um, now I meditate every single morning. Um, I find time to fit it in. Sometimes I meditate twice a day. Um, so the, the changes in my life were incredibly drastic and I found a sense of purpose. Um, that I didn't have before this mentorship. So, you know, I, I, I guess I can't even really begin to um, make you understand other than to say if you are thinking about taking any services at all with John Binney, I would highly, highly recommend him only because the changes in my life have been so drastic um, and so incredible that there's really no way, honestly, that I could give back any of the, you know, the beautiful um, gifts that John has given me other than to make this video. <laughs> so that's why, you know, it was so important for me to do this. Um, not even because he asked me to, because I felt so guided to just let people know that the work that he does works. And he's such a phenomenal mentor. Like because of him, I, I've literally started another business. And my first one, <laughs> I'm so scared to do this because my first one failed so miserably. Like, you know, I, I was doing tarot online and I didn't have a lot of clients, um, which not a lot of people know. So there's another <laughs> shadow vulnerable moment. But I am starting another business up. And you know, so it, it's in the, it's in the works and it's in the makings and I've already have two new clients. So 
things are flowing very well and very unexpectedly and smooth and everything feels aligned and really um, beautiful. So yeah, I guess I, I just wanted to pop on here and just sing his praises. So if you're thinking about getting any type of work done with John Benny, you are in safe hands. And I trust his energy and I trust his work with all of my heart. And the changes in my life have been profound. Like my schedule has changed. I started a new business. I, I, um, my confidence level is, you know, has, has been, um, you know, there's been a significant change in it. And just on just the meditations alone have really centered me and helped me to find um, a deeper sense of purpose with what I want to do with my life as far as how I'm going to serve humanity. So I hope that this helped someone and I love you all so much.